wants Game of Thrones writer Brian Cogman to show run and executive produced reimagined Zorro series in works at Disney Plus. Ryan Cogman is attached as writer, showrunner, and executive producer of Disney branded television Zorro series project, starring and executive produced by Wil- Wilmer Valderrama. Now, I had announced that we did a story on this uh, over a year ago. It seems that this this whole thing of him him being uh, connected, this new showrunner, is that's 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 the brand new news. All right, mm. now. The Disney Plus series follows privileged Caballero Diego de la Vega, who returns to his hometown of El Pueblo de Los Angeles following a family tragedy. There, he discovers a culture of corruption and injustice that will lead him to take on the mantle of the masked vigilante, Zorro, America's first true superhero. Lorena, got any thoughts? I don't trust Disney. I just just, just don't. with Zorro, I I have fond memories of Zorro because I used to watch the television series with my grandfather. Like I would sit there and I would watch that with him. Mm-hmm. Loved it. Even loved the movies with um, Sir Anthony Hopkins and Antonio Banderas and Catherine Zeta-Jones. I loved, loved those. Unabashedly loved those. Uh, I'm just, I'm just, I don't see. I guess I'm just tired of reboots and I don't see how this can top what's historically mm-hmm. been done with Zorro. I just, those, if you go back and you watch those original episodes, it's just something special about the writing, about the acting, about the action, just everything um, with it. So with this series, you know, I, you know, I don't, I don't know. I don't feel excited about it when I see it. Mm-hmm. I, it's like, I'd rather go back and watch the movies and especially watch the original black and white series. Well, Lorena and anyone watching, it, it's going to get worse with this news. Um, but, but also too, uh, when I posted up this link on, on the community tab on the Latino slant page, dozens and dozens of comments just, thrashing this news announcement just unbelievable you know and uh, where i used to be wait and see i am just so just now just have no faith no faith in in any any disney product here the studio describes zoro as a bold reimagining of disney's classic series for a modern audience okay that that already puts me on edge yeah, very much on edge. An epic adventure rooted in California's rich and diverse history, bursting with humor, sinister intrigue, romantic ent- entanglements, and swashbuckling thrills. The last part I'm, I'm down with, California's rich and diverse culture it, at that time, you know, um, it, the problem is, is that diversity is a whole different take in the 1850s. And I, to see it through any other lens is 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 not Zorro. It's not agreed. It's not. Now here's 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 more trouble, guys. I'm sorry. Sorry. Cogman, the showrunner, spent ten years and eight seasons on Game of Thrones, finishing up its run as co-executive producer, penning eleven episodes. For his work, he got four Emmys. Got a bunch. And if that didn't make it. Worse. Oh no. He was no, a consulting no, no, no. producer on the first season of Amazon Prime's Lord of the Rings, The Power, The Rings of Power. There you guys go. New and improved Zorro. What are your thoughts? Anything else you wanted to add, uh, Lorena? It scares me to think of what of what <laughs> is going to be. First of all, this dude attached to Game of Thrones, that horrible ending of yeah. Game of Thrones. Yeah. Then Rings of Power, which was awful. I, I couldn't I couldn't get past, I think, like 
two episodes. I mean, the only thing I liked were the, the dwarves were actually good. I liked them. The rest of it just sucked. And it was just horrible how much money they threw at that and how awful it is. And now you're telling me you're going to get this guy. It's yeah. not like it's some series out of nowhere. This yeah. is Zorro. There are people who remember that show. Okay. Yeah. Just, just no. And and you're and you're right, Paulie. Diversity in the 1850s is a totally different thing from what they're thinking with this reimagined for modern uh, modern audiences. Why do they Why do they always put that in there? Especially nowadays, when they know that's going to upset people. You know, I think they just feel like that's what they have to do in order to uh, sell a show. It's kind of like, kind of like I think what I'd mentioned about what I'd seen with the likes of, say, Wednesday and with other shows. It seems like the first episode they throw every single, quote unquote, I won't call it, we'll call it activist entertainment thing at you. And then the other episodes are fine. So I don't know if they're doing this just to trump what they, I guess, what they think people are interested in. Like, yes, everyone wants to see things updated for modern audiences. So we have to throw that out there, which I don't understand because realistically, we don't care about the quote unquote modern audience. We care that it's going to be a good show. Mm -hmm. And if you're leading with all of these other things, that tells me that you really don't have too much faith in your product. If that's if that's what you're going to, uh, that's what you're going to lead with. Again, this isn't some series out of nowhere. You are doing Zorro. That's the big thing. Yeah, this is uh, this could be pretty pretty awful. And um, you know, Zorro was was. Um, its main influence was was the legend of Joaquin Murrieta, and there's a there's a series in Spanish that is out right now on Amazon Prime that is just incredible. Same time era, you know, it's different because you know Joaquin was definitely more of a of a, of a bandit. Doesn't didn't come you know um, came from some money from Mexico, but it was a different different whole different reality. But the reason why I bring it up is that it is one hundred percent unwoke there's just nothing just modern about it at all and yet you have a lot of diversity because you know that that was the 1850s at the border of, of california and you know going up to the gold rush it was just it's an incredible show so if you want to see anything like you know a, a zorro story that's that's out right now and i and i did review it um, but this, this could be a disaster. What do you so we got a lot of comments from you guys and, uh, leave Zorro alone. Wow. He's a Robin of the Latin community. As a black kid growing up, I loved that character. Solomon Thornton said showrunner's biggest mm -hmm. credit to date was game of Thrones mixed bag. I'm still being, I'm still betting at some point Zorro will become Zorita. <laughs> Oh my god. Don't think they hadn't thought about it. <laughs> yes, Don Diego was a wealthy in the story, but the to use the term privilege bothers me because of the vocabulary of the Wokosos. I fear anything produced by that crowd. And that's what I was that's what I was saying. Mm -hmm. That privileged, are you getting at his skin color? Or am I gonna hear the words white Latino when you guys describe Zoro when this thing comes out? I bet I am, and I'll be pissed as hell. So, uh, but this is great. You guys uh, had a lot of thoughts. Look at this. Wow. You know, and uh, I really appreciated you guys. That's why we did this did this as our as our main topic. So, thank you guys.